CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add an IP security camera to the PC software using the camera's QR code or serial number QR code. So here in the web interface, I have the web interface already pointed to the access platform page on the P2P tab in the settings of the camera. Again, this is in the web interface. And here I have the P2P serial number. This is the serial number that you would also use in the mobile app if you were adding a camera or NVR to the app. And here would be the code that you would scan, again, if you were adding it to the app. However, I'm adding it to the PC software that I have in the background. Here I'm in the PC software, and you should be on the devices page if you've just launched the software for the first time. If you've already played around with the software, then it may take you to the new page by default, in which case you would need to go under the configuration section and then click the devices button to get to the devices page. Now, if I'm in the same network and I wanted to add my camera using the IP address, I could use the auto search function. However, like I mentioned, I'm gonna add it using the serial number. And as long as I have an online P2P status, that means I could use this software from anywhere in the world to view my camera using the PC software if the software was on a laptop. So I'm gonna click the add button. And then the first thing you need to do is change the method to add. Again, the IP slash domain would be if this camera was in the same network and you wanted to add it using the IP address or if it was port forwarded. However, for the SN for devices that support P2P, you don't need to do any of the port forwarding or worrying about IP addresses because you can simply use that QR code serial number. So I'm gonna give my device a name. You can name it whatever you would like. I'm naming mine Office Cam. And then I need to get the serial number from the web interface. So in order to do that, I'm going to go back into the web interface. I'm gonna double click and highlight the serial number. And then I can right click and click copy. If you know your short keyboard shortcuts, you could do control C. So I'm gonna click copy. I'm gonna go back into the software, make sure that I click on the serial number or SN field, and then I'm gonna right click. Again, if you know your keyboard shortcuts, you could do control V, and I'm gonna click paste. If it doesn't paste it right away, then you may need to click cancel and then click the add button again, and then definitely make sure that you have clicked on the SN field. So now I need to correctly type in the username, which is admin, and then I'm gonna type in the default password. The credentials for the camera can be found on a label on the top of the camera's box if you're unsure what the credentials are. So I've given the device a name, I changed the method to add to SN, I entered in the serial number by copying and pasting it from the web interface, I typed in the username and password, and now I can click the add button. So I clicked add, and then it's gonna to attempt to automatically log into my camera. And if it doesn't do that right away, then you're gonna to want to use the manual login button over here. You'll notice when it logged into the camera, the arrow switched from pointing to the left to pointing to the right for logout. So the left arrow pointing into the little square door looking icon means that it would be logged in. And then you should receive an online status after a few moments. You'll notice that happened while I was talking about the login button. So as long as you have an online status within your web interface for the P2P status, you've correctly copied and pasted the serial number when adding the device and use the correct username and password, you will receive an online status. If you receive an offline status, it will tell you what the error was, whether it's a network host not found, which means you make, need to make sure you have an online status or that you don't have a firewall blocking the software or the camera from accessing the internet, or it will tell you if you have a username or password error. And you can click on this field to drag it further if you get an offline error and you're not sure how to read it. You can pull this to the side. So now I can go to the plus button at the top since I have an online status and go to live view. And then I can drag this camera into the quadrant or double click it when I have a quadrant selected. So again, I have this bottom quadrant selected. If I double click the camera, it'll go there. If I right click, close all videos, ask me if I'm sure I wanna close them all, I click okay. And then I could drag it to any quadrant I would like. Hopefully this video helps you add your camera to the PC software using your P2P serial number or QR code serial number. Thank you for watching. 
If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.